Welcome to day 30 of our school year. That filled in. Completed another row. Okay, let's get down our beginning fraction. We have a total of 180 school days, so that's our denominator. And we're on day 30. So let's find our factors of our numerator. Two factors we always know are 1 and the number itself. And then using the commutative property of multiplication, I can do 30 times 1. Now we're going to go through our divisibility rules in an orderly fashion so we don't miss any factors. So in order, after 1 is 2. The rule for 2 is that it ends in an even number. 0 at the end is an even number. So 2 is a factor. 2 times 15. 15 times 2. Then we try 3. The rule for 3 is that we add the digits together. 3 plus 0 is 3. 3 is a multiple of 3, so 3 is a factor. 3 times 10, 10 times 3. We try 4. One thing to look for with 4 is you look at the second factor with 2. Is that even? No, it's odd. So 4 won't work. Because the closest we get is 4 times 7 is 28. 4 times 8 is 32. We can't get 30. So 4 doesn't work. The rule for 5 is that it ends in a 0 or 5. It ends in a 0, so 5 is a factor. 5 times 6, 6 times 5. There are no natural or counting numbers between 5 and 6, so we're done. Let's list our factors from least to greatest. 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15, 30. So we have eight factors. That is more than two factors, so it is composite. But we need to figure out which one of these is the greatest common factor, which one works for both 30 and 180. Let's start with our largest one, and if that doesn't work, we'll keep going until we find one that does. So let's start with 30. Remember, your groups of 30 do not have to look like mine. They just have to have 30 in each, and you need to keep the shaded separated from the unshaded. But since our rows are in um, groups of 10, it makes it a little easier to make our groups of 30. Because three tens or three rows of 10 make 30. And 30 worked. So 30 is our greatest common factor. There was no remainder. Let's count up our total amount of groups of 30. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 total groups. So our denominator is now 6. And how many groups of 30 are shaded in? There is one group of 30 shaded in. We've done our division with our model. Let's go ahead and do it with our algorithm. We're dividing both by our greatest common factor. So 180 divided by 30, and 30 divided by 30. Let's see. Um, I am pretty good at my fives. 5 times 30. The placeholder moves it over a place. And then 5 times 3 is 15. Numbers the same. Zero is the game. 8 take away 5 is 3. Well, 30, that's just 1 times 30. 1 times 30 is 30. Number is the same. And 0 is the game. Add up my partial quotients. 5 plus 1 is 6. And then here, 1 times 30 is 30. Number is the same. 0 is the game. And I get 1. Still need to check. Divisor times quotient plus remainder. Divisor times quotient plus remainder. Since my remainder for both is 0, and the identity property of addition says when you add 0, it stays the same, we don't need to add the 0. 
when we get into division in a little bit, a uh, few more weeks, um, our remainder will not always be zero. But when we're fine doing factors, they should be. So here, 6 times 0 is 0. 6 times 3 is 18. Here, we end up with the identity property of multiplication. 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 3 is 3. When you multiply by 1, it stays the same. Let's check. Does it match your dividend? 30 matches 30. 180 matches 180. So both of those check. That means that my numerator is definitely 1 and my denominator is definitely 6. So let's go ahead and fill in our data collection page. Trimester 1, week 7, today is 9, 19, 19. Our fraction for today is 1, 6, Okay, so let's go ahead and get out our number line. We did groups of 30 today. Groups of 30, let's go over. Here's our first line. 1, 6. So we've completed one section out of the total 6 pieces that are here. We do have a lot of equivalent fractions. So we have one in our 15, 10, 6, five, three, two, all those numbers are common factors, but 30 was our greatest common factor. So that 30 180 has a lot of equivalent fractions below it. 1 6 is our simplest form, or our equivalent fraction in lowest terms. Okay, go ahead and put your number line away, erase your worksheet, and thank you for joining me.